So as a result of the coronavirus, our showroom is shut. So we thought we would take this opportunity to put together some videos to demonstrate some of the products that we manufacture and sell. So in this video, we're gonna look at Visions. So I'm gonna demonstrate how a Visions blind works. So the blind starts when it's fully up inside of its cassette housing. And it doesn't matter how long the blind is, all of the material is hidden up in the cassette housing. The cassette housing comes in different sizes and in different colors. And the way the blind works is it transitions through an open and a shut position from top to bottom, just like this. So the blind is now showing an open panel closed, open panel, two open, two closed, and so on. And the blind will keep transitioning from top to bottom until it reaches the bottom in a fully closed position. So here's another example of a Visions blind. And as you can see, the blind is about halfway down in what we call the open position. In other words, you can see through the panels, regardless of the fact that the blind actually isn't all the way down. Now I've shut the blind, and if I allow the blind to continue, you will see how it continues through the open and shut positions and it will continue to do this until it reaches the bottom. Now the blind is fully shut. I'm now able to open it to its first open position. So the blind is now fully down covering the entire window, but we can see out and through the blind as a result of the blind being in an open position. Now the real flexibility with visions is the ability for the blind to be stopped in an open position anywhere you like from top to bottom so for example I might stop the blind there this gives me considerably more light coming into the room because I'm able to raise the blind still in this open position without weight or stack when the blind is fully up. In other words, we don't lose much of the window, if at all, because the, the cassette housing at the top is of a very small profile. Now, if we look at these two blinds side by side, one of the things that you will be able to see is that the panel size is different between the two blinds. Now, a panel is the solid and the see-through part together that forms one panel and the panel on this blind is much bigger than the panel on this blind this blind here is what we call a standard size panel and nearly all of the materials will be of that size the blackout range of visions materials that we do will be of this size and there are the odd few fabrics which are also in this slightly bigger panel now, some other differences between the fabrics relates to the see-through panels. Now, you should be able to pick up on the video some distortion across this panel and across here. Now, we can see out, but there is this distortion, and this is called a moray effect. And the moray effect occurs when the two see-through panels come together. If I separate these panels, the moray effect disappears, but as they come together, it's created. Now on this blind, the see-through panel is much more of a net, and that moray effect isn't created. Now, most of the Visions materials do have the moray effect. There's only a small selection which do not. Now, the benefit of the Moray effect is that it affords you more privacy in the daytime and stopping people seeing in, and it creates a whiteout effect. What that means is, is that if it gets particularly sunny, a very intense sun, the see-through panels will start to look white, and they will diffuse the sun and in most instances you won't have to put the blind into some kind of shut position like that whereas on something like this you would almost certainly once it gets very very sunny have to put it into 
some form of shut position from top to bottom. Now in terms of the cassette boxing, this cassette box here is a deep fronted cassette. Now normally the matching fabric is inserted into the cassette header. This particular cassette box is anthracite in colour. And so as you can see it gives it a nice sort of dark contrast. The bottom bar through which the fabric travels is also in the matching colour to the cassette box, in this particular case, anthracite. Now this is an example of a shallow depth cassette box. You can see it's a little bit smaller at the top. This particular one is called satin silver, that's its colour. Again, you'll see the matching fabric inserted at the top. And then the bottom bar matches the same colour as the cassette box. And this particular blind is manually operated with a chain. Now there are three colours in the deep front of cassette, white, black and anthracite. And then we have seven colours in the shallow depth cassette box, white, black, anthracite, satin silver, chrome, bronze and cream. So let's talk about visions. Firstly, they offer a very striking aesthetic and they are modern, stylish, practical and infinitely flexible. They are essentially, the best way to think of visions is that they are a hybrid blind. They're a cross between a roller blind and a Venetian or shutter. As a roller blind, they have the ability to recoil into their cassette housing and literally just disappear, which you can't do with shutters and you can't do with wood Venetians because of their stack. They have the ability to transition anywhere from top to bottom in either an open or a shut position. If you're overlooked and you need daytime privacy, they afford that because they can be fully down but open and it obviously makes it much more difficult for people to see in through the see-through panels. And obviously they offer nighttime privacy because the blinds can be put into a shut position fully down. They have the ability to filter sunlight because of the see-through panels. And again, you can achieve that anywhere from top to bottom, either in an open or shut position. If you're in a north facing room, then you have the ability with visions to introduce much more natural light into the room simply by the ability to manipulate and move the blind into varying positions. Positions. Again, the beauty of a visions blind is that you can lose it completely, recoil it into the cassette housing, or just have it a little way down if you need to block a little bit of sun. For most people, if you do need daytime privacy, once you've covered 50% of the window, it would be very difficult for people to see through the bottom half. So again, that allows more natural light into the room. So visions blinds can be used across most bay windows. They work particularly well in conservatories and especially across all kinds of doors, whether they be sliding patio doors, French doors, or bifolding doors. Now we install visions across many doors, many types of door. Let me explain why doors especially work really well with visions. Firstly, a door introduces issues of the amount of stack. That's if you pull a blind up, how much the stack does it consume? Or in the case of something like a vertical or illusions blind, how much stack does it consume when the blind is pulled left or right or split and then half of it goes one way, half of it goes the other. As you can see, in the pictures a door blind recoils into virtually nothing giving you all of your glass back and all of that natural light coming back in in the summer months if you need to filter the sun you can just lower the blind just part way in an open or a shut position and motorized visions especially work tremendously well one of the benefits in the summer months of a motorized visions is the ability for you to if you're for example working out in the garden go out into the garden and then using the remote control shut the blind back behind you so that you're affording protection to your flooring and furniture keeping the heat down in the room and of course then you can just raise the blind for when you want to come back in and if you're coming in and out with frequency it doesn't stop you lowering the blind just a little bit just to perhaps take out some of the sharpness of the sun but it's just the ability to have a very flexible solution now when you're selecting your visions blind you'll obviously need to choose your fabric you'll need to choose your cassette box 
type, which will either be the deep fronted cassette or the shallow cassette, the cassette color, and whether or not you're going to have the blind manually operated or motorized. Now, the cassette color can make a difference. Uh, if we look at a picture of a yellow mustard colored visions blind with an anthracite cassette header and bottom bar, you can see it gives quite a striking definition to the blind and is in tune with the colors that are going on in the kitchen. So these are the decisions that you would need to make when choosing your visions blind. So if you want to learn more about motorized visions, just go to our page on motorized roller and visions where we'll give you a demonstration and we'll talk you honestly through some of the pros and the cons of having motorized blinds.